Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a review of the Naked Running Band V2 or version 2. Um, I got this from Gone Running for review purposes, so uh, I'm one of the first in Hong Kong to actually use one of these, so it's pretty cool. So let's get to the review or the specs of this first, okay? Physically, the Naked Running Band V2 has two race bib toggles for your race bib when you're racing, uh, three big pockets, and it's still made of this very breathable, versatile, and lightweight, uh, quick drying power mesh fabric. Um, each of the pockets has a yellow pull tab so you can use to get your things in and out. Um, at the back there are two loops of course with silicon on the back so nothing falls out of it when you put things through. These are designed for basically your uh, hiking poles or your jacket. The running band is no longer made in the United States but in El Salvador. But having said that um, the stitching is actually looking better than in the first version as you can see from here and it weighs a mere 63 grams. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I have in my uh, Naked Band version 2 before I get, go into the hills for a run and get all disgusting and sweaty, okay? Uh, so here's what it looks like before I take anything out. So first of all, I got a 500 meter flask in the, in the first one. Uh, next, I got another 500 meter flask uh, with tailwind inside, nutrition inside. Now in the back, I have a clamp, uh, another camera gear stuff, uh, oh, basically another uh, part of the clamp, and a journey bar. Okay. Now, basically, I have all that. And it fits nicely inside the naked band, okay? Um, I actually also have a wallet, which I put in my shorts. Okay, my uh, skint wallet in a Ziploc bag and my phone is on the other side. Okay, in my WA three-in-one shorts, okay? So, I'm gonna take you up in the hills and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, sweaty running with the naked band. All right, let's talk about some of the pros of the Naked Running Band V2 as I run here. Um, as I said earlier, there's a lot of stuff in the belt right now. So um, we have I have two uh, soft flasks of 500 milliliters each. So I got a liter of water at the front. And as you can see, there's very little bounce, which is excellent, actually. Um, at the back, I have my clamp hanging out there. Um, usually don't bring my camera gear with me, but in this situation, I do need it. Um, as you can see, it's hanging out. So nothing ever actually falls out of this thing, which is shocking. I've never had any issues with chafing or anything like that, even when I run without a shirt on uh, when wearing this belt. So uh, that's great. Um, it is very, uh, again, it's very lightweight. So uh, the material is very breathable. So I don't overheat when I'm wearing this thing. All right, now I'd like to talk about the sizing of the Naked Running Band V2. Um, basically, it starts at 28 inches, which is the size one, and it goes up by one size uh, from there. Um, I'm actually at around uh, 29 inches. You're supposed, so you're supposed to measure your uh, the circumference of your waist just below your navel. So I'm at about 29, but I chose size three, which is a 30 inch waist, uh, because I find that actually this version is quite tight. Now it's supposed to be tight because you know it, uh, you know you don't want any bouncing and stuff like that. But um, compared to the first version, this is actually much tighter, uh, a much tighter fit. Um, Again, it's a, it's a good thing. You don't want to actually go too high because you don't want stuff bouncing around. Okay. All right. I talked about the pros of the uh, Naked Running Band version two. Now let's talk about the cons. I guess there's only one really big con for me, uh, which is the uh, loops for the your poles at the back of the Naked Running Band. Actually, the, they have increased in distance from each other from version one of 13 centimeters to about uh, 21 centimeters apart from each other. Um, actually, that's fine, but for me, I actually have really like uh, short hiking poles, which is the Gpron ones, and it actually can't fit into both of the loops. Um, my Black Diamond ones uh, poles still can fit, but they're much longer than my Gpron poles. Um, actually, even if it fits, it's actually not as comfortable before, uh, as before because the whole pole is now against my back if I get this in there. Um, so I don't know why they extended the, the pole holders uh, so much, but you know, that's what they did. Um, I guess the other negative would be that uh, I've used this for about um, 150, almost 200 kilometers of running now, and I've watched it five, six, seven times. Um, 
you might notice that there's actually no more branding left. The naked and the big K has actually fallen apart. Now, having said that, that might just be because um, it's a pre-production model. So uh, hopefully they fix that. Um, again, it doesn't really matter because for me, I mean, logos don't really make a difference uh, for this thing anyway. Okay. All right, guys, just a short conclusion now. Um, the Naked Running Band version 2 is a fantastic product. Uh, you know, the, the, the amount of stuff you can get in here is amazing. Um, the fact that there's almost no bounce with a liter of water and some gear in the, in the pockets uh, is amazing. So I'll continue to use this unless I really need poles because I, I can't get my poles in here comfortably. So in that case, I'll go back to version 1 when, I'm, when I need poles. Um, so... Anyway, thanks a lot for, for watching, and as always, have a good day. Bye-bye.